This site where we're in now is Low Yard and it's just behind um, Trinity House and Trinity House is kind of one of the oldest buildings in Newcastle but it's also really of historical importance because it was a building that was set up under Henry VIII but it was kind of I suppose the first uh, situation where customs and excise duty was ever introduced in the UK so this would be for the British boats but also for foreign boats. And I think as well for us it was very interesting as well to see it in this context of what it was as an organisation, the almshouses, mm -hmm. the brethren, um, I guess it was a collective of men who ran it but who also became I guess the people who charged and taught, brought the tolls to the uh, the ships that came up and down but it's a, it's a very sort of um, particular nuanced space but also very much about a space which belongs to a brethren. Ostensibly thinking of making a publicly sited work, which for Jane and I was a really exciting option. We've never sited work publicly before or outdoors as such, especially a moving image work, so this was a really interesting challenge. The film Suspended Island weaves together footage from Governors Island and from the Palace of Westminster Parliament alongside animation featuring artefacts that we've actually found inside Trinity House and uh, there's also a newly commissioned text and voiceover by the author Vesna Marek who came to the UK as a refugee from Bosnia Herzegovina. Swooped up by liberty, the openness of the sky above the river Clouds rolling in, creams, vanillas, greys, charcoals, great steamy puffs above the poplars, and the shrieks of the seagulls that echo with the whoosh of the sea. Suspended Island, we were thinking, worked for us on lots of metaphors. It was a title we'd had for a, a while in our minds. We filmed a work um, on Governor's Island uh, back in 2004. And Governor's Island is off the coast of Manhattan. It was basically home to the American Coast Guard until sort of the uh, late 90s. And when we filmed there in 2004, it had just recently been decommissioned and um, all the families had left, etc. So we kind of uh, found the remnants of this community in a way. And um, we just thought this was a very strong image. The island is a creature that pulls all my greatest fears and sets me free. And I think it's interesting as well just being in this particular site where we are in Law Yard. I mean, you see that this was actually a community. There was the schoolhouse for the children, were there was the, the um, apartments where people lived, the housing. So there's all this other stuff that still lingers through. Mm. And I think it's very fortuitous that the imagery that we're showing also speaks about this kind of community. There's a, a, a song that permeates through the, through the work that we've made, Suspended Island, which is um, a, a song recorded by our family up in um, Glasgow, where, they re where they're from. And it's, a, it's, a, it's an old tune that was recorded in 1948, and um, it's, a, a, I guess it's a biblical song. It's a family hymn. <laughs> it's a family hymn and that's something that comes through but it's something about community, something about those voices but also something about that history of um, they're singing about the golden, the golden gates that will guide you and they're talking about the lights that lead you and so there's something about that that very much resonated into the idea of entering into the sea and, and coming up the river. Also Trinity House as well and the Brethren and to think about that kind of colonising impulse but also that colonial past as well and also that resonates with the imagery in Governor's Island as well that you see there was you know this very kind of uh, this very British past there, even in the uh, abandoned prison that we filmed there. So yeah. yeah, and I mean, you know, Trinity House. I mean, you had Cook, you got Nelson's desk. You know, yeah. you had all of that kind of great impulse of you know the British Empire there. Mm. That's also reflected through that. Uh, you know what Governor's Island was originally which originally Governor's Island was part of a British garrison until the American in War of Independence. We're all a shadow in this colonial organism. Indistinguishable. 
Jane and I were born and brought up here, so um, this is a very uh, interesting opportunity to kind of show um, a work here, especially on you know the key side because. You know, it's got a it's got a rich history, but also, you know, um, our grandfather worked here as a riveter for Swan Hunters, and you sort of see actually how um, the shape of the uh, the quayside has changed, but also the shape of industry here. And I think it's a really interesting, and important time now to celebrate some of that history, but also to celebrate the community here with the Great Exhibition of the North. And I think it's fortuitous as well that again that you might you know, our dad's a naval architect. He designed the Pride of the Tyne, which is the you know the the ferry that goes from north to south shields and in fact it was it was um, through him that we kind of picked up to trinity house and looked at that and to begin with and in the film itself suspended island even though it's looking very much through imagery of what we recorded in off the coast of manhattan there's animation and other elements that come through that reference the designs of my dad and of the ferry and we're also reflecting us through a prism of somewhere else and I think that's important that it doesn't feel too insular but it also speaks about where you are in relation to everything else from the north. And in fact there are, to add to that, there are uh, sequences that uh, are shot in the Palace of Westminster so there is a real moment where it does kind of telescope between looking at Governor's Island and actually looking at the government. Government.